For the past 10 years, the Marines have wanted this multi-million dollar vehicle built to ship Marines from sea to land. It is almost 20 feet high and weighs about 76,000 pounds. Engine sits in this compartment right here. One cylinder on this engine is enough to power a Camaro. And these two 23-inch propulsion systems can pump 100,000 gallons of water a minute. That's just some of what it takes to get this vehicle flying above the water at nearly 30 miles per hour. Sergeant Christian Button has been working with this vehicle for the past six months. He says the service can't get these armored bass boats fast enough. Overall, this vehicle is, is a leap into, into what we need to stay on top of, uh, of our military. Uh, it, it's, it's God's gift to the Marine Corps right now. Mm. This is the next generation of, of military weapon systems. But this program has not come easy for the Marines. The $27 billion program has suffered a series of setbacks and failed a critical test more than two years ago. Some wonder if the Marines even need this vehicle as the military conducts missions in Afghanistan and Iraq. Last year, the Marines went back to the drawing board with contractor General Dynamics to redesign the entire vehicle from top to bottom. Now, in a matter of days, they will find out if all the money and time they spent was worth it. If problems are discovered, that could put the entire program in jeopardy. But even if the vehicle misses the mark, observers say it's unlikely the Bush administration will cancel the program. Instead, it will just wait for President-elect Barack Obama to decide whether to ax this vital program with its troubled past. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.